except three points, rest of the things are supposed to look uh, really, really critical when we look at the fact that um, we had limited time between match against Highlands Park on that also rainy, slippery weather conditions that takes so much energy out. And today, uh, all day rain, tough field to play. We played against the team that has very good individuals, uh, coached in a very good way by dear colleague John Masuta. And when you have that in mind, uh, we knew what to expect from the match. Matches usually like these ones are the hardest. You know that you need to win three points, but in the same moment, subconsciously, possibly, you uh, underrate, underestimate uh, the opponent team and you put yourself on back foot. Uh, we started very well with that goal, believing that from then on we shall continue. However, subconsciously, we were dropping back. And the dropping back exactly caused that we considered that equalizing goal. Uh, from equalizing goal, we once more put in the higher gear, uh, uh, scoring that second goal that was own goal uh, on Pules cross. And um, then we went to half time. On half time, we were agreeing that we shall defend by possessing, that we shall close the gaps between the lines uh, in going forward, in dropping back, and uh, that we shall look to po uh, with possession to uh, defend. Here, someone would say that we are so much risking in playing from the goal kick and whatever, but. Uh, you have two choices. One is to kick the ball out and a ball once more going to the opponent and then once mo more you are waiting or you are trying with football to uh, defend the result that you are having. We were also looking forward to be much more effective going forward. Uh, we got uh, that third goal to penalty. And when we were thinking that we shall uh, in peaceful way uh, bring the game to end, uh, we were conceding that set piece and uh, putting uh, practically blood entering in the head of our players. Uh, we were uh, a bit shaky in some time. Then we put uh, two important players to us here present, Kudamahachi and Shonga, and fourth goal literally uh, kill off the game. I personally believe that result was not a reflection of what really happened on the field. Result is much better than our performance. We need critically to look at ourselves. And we are having now three days uh, prior Friday uh, flying to Bulawayo to play that first match in CAF Champions League. Uh, in two matches, we have scored six goals, what is good standard, but in the same moment, we need to be fully aware that conceding four goals uh, is something what is below any standard. We are conceding, and this is a concern that we need to address as a team. They need to we work to, as a team, and and intention of having clean sheets is our dream. We are having problem. We are not running away from that, and we shall address this in due time and improve the way time goes. Uh, first of all, is never easy after festive season to restart the engine. We had those two matches, and I believe those two matches are in perfect preparation uh, for the match that we are having in Bulawayo on Saturday. And when you are looking at that, his first step in the group is very, very important. It shows the... Um, is like... Uh, stamp of an intention, what you want to achieve in the group. And when you're looking at everything, uh, having in mind the defending champions Esperanza with us, that Horoya that was caught a finalist to the group of uh, the Sundowns last year, um, we are having very tough group. And we believe that we need to approach every of six matches that we are having, same like playing Champions League final, 
uh, we believe that now that we had those two matches is in perfect preparation for that first match and then after only five days uh, next Friday we are playing against Horoya at home um, when you're telling me how ho 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 confident I am uh, together with the technical team we are looking to having in mind that we are having players that are extremely motivated to be remembered because when you are in Pirates you are in unlimited time and that limited time you are using your time in the best possible way in order to uh, live uh, with something that your time uh, you, that you have achieved something and we really want to be remembered in the best possible way um, when I'm telling about that, uh, we need to find a formula uh, where we we have not rotated from Saturday. We had three changes. Now we are having th this match in Saturday, next match against Korea, and then we are having back PSL and Ed Bank Cup and, and, and once more Champions League. And when uh, that time comes uh, that we are already matches are entering in the leg and we are um, getting in proper competitive form because we are really a bit below our standard, I need to accept. Uh, believing in work we are doing, believing in players we are having, we want to widen the pool of players so that we really succeed in the... Uh, different competitions stretch ourselves over all possible limits and achieve as much as possible. And that confidence comes from having these players that are working very hard and motivated to leave the legacy and stamp uh, from the work we are doing. And uh, we shall see what the times ahead will, will come. We are after six years back into the group stages. And when you have that in mind, uh, not many, three, four, four players in our squad have been, uh, have uh, felt how it looked like. So we shall not be excuse makers, blame shifters, fault finders, and, and, and looking right and left. Uh, we shall, as a man, accept everything what it comes our way. We really want to have the highest possible ambition in every competition in respect to this badge and jersey. And uh, believing in work we are doing, believing in players we are having, believing in support that we are get, getting from uh, you media, our supporters, our management, we shall really stretch ourselves over all limits and look forward to get the best out of ourselves. Uh, when I look here at present to the question, Mahachi, I met him four years back. We have played against each other. In between, he had his career. He came to us. Uh, it is not easy to switch from Golden Arrows uh, to Pirates. He had an, I want to call it, bridge period of six months. In between, something terrible happened to him because he lost his mom. It is um, all of us, we have been behind him. He has worked very hard, brought himself uh, from suspicious Kuda to real Kuda. Real Kuda in last two matches, two times 15 minutes, two goals scored, showing signs that uh, he is the player that could make the difference. And this is exactly area where I spoke about, about widening the pool of players where uh, whomever we are putting, we are still keeping the level of the performance. And uh, there are extremely positive signs in his performance. And we, I want these two goals to inject him even more because he's far from his the best. We want him to give the best to Pirates because we know what he's capable of. He's far from his best yet. And we want him to go back to his national team and play Africa Cup of Nations in Egypt 2019. Yeah, I didn't start well, like uh, my 2018, it was a terrible year for me. I lost my mother, then I didn't start well, like at Orlando Pirates. Then 2019, like I started to pick myself up and then every game that I play, I play for my mother. It's a cup final for me, so I'm happy for my performance now, and I would like to thank the coaches for giving me the opportunity. For my side, I will tell you, 
having in mind the background and having in mind uh, now we can go. I'm coming from the country that is fourth in the world in producing young players. And I know how those things are going. And looking here in this respected country called South Africa, we are fully aware that there are so much stairs jumped. It, uh, it has not gone with the stairs usually that are supposed. So uh, sometimes you have situation that players are jumping from. Uh, since coming together with Coach Rolani in 2017, we believe that we have not overcoached, but coached enough uh, to do this business and to improve individual players and to improve the team, you really need to have partners. I really need to give the highest possible amount of credit to the players that they have. I, we feel them same like sponge that is absorbing now. Uh, there is a problem generally in the coaching all over the world, you know. Sometimes you have sense that uh, if players are the way they are in training, you think this is something we could be, you know. But you have a gap between training, friendly match, to competitive match, depending on the stage and whatever. So uh, sometimes players are looking marvelous in training. And then you reach in competition and you clash with uh, opponent team and you see that certain things are not working the way they are supposed. Uh, never say die, never give up, believing in players, believing in the room for development and space for improvement. We believe that we have not crossed that line of uh, not allowing them freedom of expression, not allowing them showing the skills, not allowing them being themselves and proper competitors representing our work in the best possible way. Uh, I accept critically that there is, from what has been done in training and in, in preparation from up to execution, it, it could not always be 100%. But still, uh, players we are having in Pirates, that is a group of extremely hardworking players, led by senior players towards so-called middle age player players that they have played in other teams, to others we are having really a group of players that we are fully aware that we are far from what we are supposed to be and uh, as I told, the room for development and space for improvement in each individual player that are same like sponges, meaning they accept everything, they are trying their the best, sometimes uh, theoretical and practical in training does not match with execution in official matches, but we believe in work we are doing, we believe in players we are coaching, and we believe that we shall get much better. Uh, we want to reach the criteria and standards that are making us contenders, and those criteria and standards are going to three aspects. To have the iron defense that has many clean sheets, to have a creative build-up, playing good football that is in line with identity of Orlando Pirates and to have sharp attack where we are a goal scoring team. Uh, once you are in our position and we are really looking to play for goal more, uh, of course you are leaving certain aspects uh, risky and that is when you play with that risk, uh, you are tending, you are tending to be um, in any way, uh, in position to give chance to opponent to score against you, because you want to play for goal more. Uh, fully aware that uh, we know that the, the, what wins are making and what uh, goals consider, what def defenses are, are winning the titles. And uh, this is an aspect where we are working tirelessly and we shall still work uh, it is never ending story in, in this, and is, it is never final product. Sometimes you, you think you are, you are uh, for example, we were leaking uh, from set pieces. Today we considered from set piece, 
uh, that we thought that we have sorted. You know, you close one hole, the other one opens. But fully aware that overall we are too much conceding, fully aware that um, we had we had last year in this time 18 matches played in this time. Uh, 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 Sorry, 19 matches. Uh, 19 matches played, and we have cons uh, we had eight clean sheets. Now this is 25th, going into 26th match uh, played, and uh, we have we we had seven clean sheets. Is meaning percentage of clean sheets is unsatisfactory for our standards. We know, and we cannot close our eyes. We need really to put hand on our heart and to be critical that this is an area where we need dramatically and drastically to improve in order to uh, go the line of progressive improvement of our team. From my side, I would just tell that I have the highest degree of respect to Zimbabwe football. Uh, in the last 18 years, I have met several times, and maybe the reason that I'm here, some Zimbabwe players have really played an important role when I have run for Champions League with Hilal, Edward Sadomba and the likes. And when you have that in mind, uh, uh, that respect, we need uh, now to inject into our team uh, fully aware that we are playing against champions of Zimbabwe that is coached by a very good coach, coach that had wonderful playing career and also coaching career, Norma Mapesa, a uh, team that is, uh, as could I say, plays very good football team that has an teamwork in defending, teamwork, in playing good football and, and, and very dangerous in going forward. So uh, all those are things that in the next three days we need to touch in order to kickstart our group stage in the best possible way with uh, good performance and result in Bolivar at Barbara Fields.